what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be comparing two very lightweight hunting tripods. One, the really right stuff, a scent tripod with a scent ball head. This is what's considered to be, you know, top of the line, comes in at a price point of somewhere right around $1,400. All American made, components, legs, carbon. That's where we're gonna see the price there. Uh, really right stuff is also well known for their customer service. The other lightweight hunting tripod is a more cost-effective version. It's from Two Vets Tripods. It's uh, the model the Rup. Both of these tripods come in under three pounds, even with their ball heads. They'll both support comparable weights. These two uh, rifles are uh, twinsies. One's a 308, one's a 6.5. They both weigh right around 11 pounds with this guy coming in, at, you know, probably another pound heavier because it's got a suppressor on it. But otherwise, you can expect both of these tripods to support probably right up to about 20 pounds really well. Uh, and I say that when I say really well when it comes to a tripod supporting weight, I don't always care that a tripod holds my rifle in this position as long as my tripod will hold a rifle in this position, right, I'm pretty happy with it. So I don't get too, too wrapped around uh, what the manufacturer specs a tripod will hold. And most of the time it's less about what the tripod itself will support. It's more about the ball head. So these tripods both will come up to about the same height. And in both cases, I, still have to use in a standing position i'll still have to use the center tube to get a few few extra inches now the two vets is as you can tell max height with no down tube about five inches shorter they both come up just a little short for myself just to be able to shoot and not utilize the center tube. Now, the trend in tripods is to use a tripod that does not have a center tube. It's typically extra weight. Now in this case, to get to a standing position, it's required, so it's not extra. So we'll start from the top and work our way down in comparison, the ball heads. So the ascent ball head from Really Right Stuff comes attached to and with this tripod when you purchase it. And this, this ball head is, is actually really nice. It's well engineered. I will be straight up. It is the only thing I've broken on this tripod. And uh, really right stuff. Those guys were great. Uh, I hit them up and they said, hey man, here's an overnighter. Send it right back and send it to me. Now it is, like I said, you know, I always tell guys in the field things are breakable. So this little dude, <clears throat> the levers are very positive. The only thing I dislike about the locking lever as we go to lock in the Arca is that this lever angle, the way, it, and it is nice that it's out of the way. When you go to detach it, it can be a little, little troublesome to reach all the way up underneath your rifle if your rifle's laying in here uh, to get a hold of this uh, little lever. But you know, rarely is there a time that I'm in a hurry to take my gun out of the tripod. I care more about being in a hurry, laying that gun in there, and locking it in no issues there. So that would be a, a very, very tiny gripe, even if you uh, wanted to classify it as such. Uh, the rotation, as far as how much angle you have on it, it is a micro ball head, so you're not gonna get as much rotation as you do on one of the bigger ones with a taller uh, neck or stem. But it's, it is a very positive ball head. It works it works great. Now, with the two vets, this tripod did not come with a ball head. So I opted to stay with the spirit of cost effective. And this is Leo Photos, lightest weight little ball head. Uh, comparatively, much, much cheaper. I got the quick release disconnect or quick connect uh, uh, locking platform here. Uh, I prefer the lever type over the screw type. They're just faster. Uh, as long as you maintain their tension and tightness, they're, uh, you know, they're gonna hold on to your rifle just as well, just, just as, as positive. So all said and done here, 
uh, the ball head and the, the platform, I think was like $120. And uh, so considerably, like I said, considerably more cost effective than the really right stuff one. But both work comparably well. Ball heads, pretty simple stuff there. Moving down a little bit to the leg adjustment pieces. Tripods can be you know, set all the way out to where even you can use your tripod as a bipod. It'll go that flat. Now, with these lightweight guys, clearly with the center tubes, you can't get completely flat. So that's a little bit of an issue there. And then again, another reason why most guys are going with tripods these days that don't have center tubes. We can forego a bipod and just use our tripod in the field as a bipod. So there's an option there. Now, the attachment points here for, or the uh, adjustment points here, the little uh, detent buttons to adjust the legs on the two vets, they're spring-loaded. And I actually had one of them on this tripod malfunction and pop loose and the guys at two vets sent me a whole nother leg like next day air uh, since then I've had no other issues with them and that is one of the one of the things about this tripod that makes it a little more cost effective than the really right stuff now they use the magnetic type where you just pull them out and you press them in and they'll click and lock as you go right so completely flat with each one you can hear it clicking into place and like i said it's just a magnet there that's pulling it back tight they're still spring loaded but also with a magnet so that's a that's a you know an upgrade or a, a, a little bit better feature now the next thing the center tube adjustment the really right stuff has this nice little lever and as I mentioned before, I do all my adjustments on my tripod, all the levers with my support hand. And this one's pretty easy to get to with my support hand. Making all my adjustments there. If I had my rifle in here, if I loosen this guy up just a little bit, the weight of the rifle would allow it to slide down. All right, nice and easy. Uh, it's ergonomical because it's right there on my support hand. Now, the two vets uses just a knob. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. All right. And again, set my tripod up to where I'm going to adjust that with my support hand. All right. The only complaint I have with this, with, with both of them actually, is in a cold environment with really thick gloves uh, or even mittens, both the lever on the really right stuff and the knob on the two vets are going to be a little more difficult to get to. But, again, not a showstopper at all. And that always goes back to whatever gloves you're going to wear while you're hunting or while you're in the field, you should practice with your equipment. Me personally, you know, I always tell guys, I'm going to dump my gloves or mittens anyway uh, when I'm setting up the shoot. I personally wear like a thin fleece layer, cut my trigger finger out underneath mittens when I'm in really cold environments. So it's not an issue to me. Moving on down a little bit, down the legs to the actual tensions. Both of these tripods are about a quarter turn, quarter a half a turn on the leg pieces before you can make an adjustment. It's not much. Pop it loose, nice and easy. Both of them are very positive. I've never had any bad experience with, you know, once I get it nice and tight, and I'm not wrenching down on it, right? Once I feel it tight, I'm done, and neither tripod have I ever had any issue with the weight that I'm putting on them, right? Anywhere up to, you know, 18, 20 pound rifles. Again, no issue with the locking parts there. Uh, back to the, the center tube the really right stuff has an option 
to take this part off. I'm not sure if you can see here this little line. You can actually unscrew this bottom base tube and then you've only got about four inches of center tube. And I will most likely take that apart and go to just using that center tube. And again, that's going to allow me a little more versatility and running that center tube to about right there from here down to be gone and I would be able to use this tripod as a very flat or bipod if you will or at least the height of a bipod but yeah both of these tripods will get it done it really comes down to do you want that Cadillac really right stuff made in America every component of really right stuff is made in America that's that's one of their big selling points uh, both companies have excellent customer service. I've actually talked to the owner of Two Vets quite often. Dan's a great guy. If you have any issues with either one of these, they're going to be fixed up really soon. So it really just boils down to, to me, you know, what is your budget? Understanding that a slightly cheaper tripod might have some issues in theory. It's not necessarily the case, at least that I've seen. The reality is I can buy four of these, three and a half of these, to one of these. So, you know, when, you, when you're weighing it out, that's probably what it's going to come down to most guys. As far as uh, the components, how it works, durability, they're very, very similar tripods.